Okay, let's talk about continuity when it comes to trig functions. Take a look at part A. Now this problem is asking us again for where it's continuous. Notice that this time it's not asking us for uh, interval notation at all. So we're just going to write a statement, it's going to write a sentence on these to describe what's happening. Okay, now in the previous problem we talked about that nothing makes the bottom zero if you have x squared plus one. I can't put any number in there to cause that bottom to be zero. So I'm not going to have any discontinuities as a result of the bottom. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the top. We're going to look at tangent and see if that gives us any places where it's not continuous. Now tangent, I probably would want to write this as sine x over cosine x because that way I can form a fraction and I can see what makes the bottom equal to zero. In this case, anytime the cosine x equals zero, that's a place where I'm going to be dividing by zero and it's not going to be continuous there. So I've got to find out what angles will give me a zero on the bottom. To do that, I need to look at a unit circle, and I'm looking specifically where the x value would equal zero on the unit circle because cosine is referring only to uh, x values. So I see that uh, your cosine is going to be zero when you're at pi over two and three pi over two. So pi over two and three pi over two. However, these problems do not have us looking at only zero to two pi. These are talking about the general case. So I've got to consider every kind of uh, revolution on here. So pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, that's places where it's going to be 0. But also, I can keep going around the circle more times if I want. So it's going to be a 5 pi over 2, 7 pi over 2, and so forth. So basically what's happening is if I have an, an odd number with a pi on top divided by 2, that's a place where I'll be getting a x value of zero, so therefore if I divide by zero, I get a discontinuity there. So here's how you'd write your answer. You're going to say that it's continuous on negative infinity to positive infinity. So basically I can say I'm including all values except for, except when x equals, okay, I got to describe this in the general case. So we're saying that we're talking about odd numbers over 2. We're going to use an n here. So I'm going, to, I'm going to write this as n pi over 2, where n is an odd integer. And you want to make sure you specify integer. You don't want to say uh, number, any kind of number, because you don't want to have a decimal or something. It's a whole number over 2. So 1, 3, 5, 7, these are odd, so an odd integer. And that's what you would, the statement that you would write this particular problem. It's continuous for all numbers except at n pi over 2 where n is an odd integer. Let's take a look at the second one. Now for this one I can rewrite this as f of x equals 4 over sine of 4x. Okay, so I can write that. Okay, uh, that's the identity that I want to use for cosecant. We have a sine in the bottom. So this time I have to look at the unit circle and see where does sine equal zero? Now I have a 4x in there. I'm going I'm to temporarily ignore that. I'm just going to consider this as sine x only. So sine x right here is referring to these two places on the unit circle. Your sine is a y value. The y values are zero at these two places, and that's going to be at zero, pi, two pi, and so forth. So if I have sine x equals zero, your x is going to be equal to 0, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, and so forth, continuing all the way through. Okay, so in that case, that's the places, that's the angles that will cause you to get a 0, uh, and then you're going to be dividing by 0 in that case. Okay, so I have this. Okay, uh, so I can write this in the general case. I can say that x is equal to n pi. And we're going to say that n is going to be any kind of integer. We don't have to specify even or odd this time because we're using 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth. However, this only describes if I have it as x. This problem has a 4x on the inside. So what I need to do is I need to set this equal to 4x instead. So in this case, if it was sine x equals 0, that would be the answer. But this problem, I have sine of 4x equals 0. So because of that, I need to technically make that a 4x. So I need to divide both sides by 4, and I get x is equal to n pi over 4, where n is any integer. Okay, So that's the place where it's not going to be continuous. So here's the statement you would write. You would say continuous 
on negative infinity to positive infinity except when x equals n pi over 4 where n is any integer. This is the whole statement that you would write. So ones I'm circling here will be your answers. So there's the one that we had for part A. I'll circle this one too. This whole thing is what you would put for your answer. It's continuous negative infinity to positive infinity except when you're at this place x is equal to n pi over 4 and again n is going to be any integer. This one specifically is odd integer.